And hi everyone, this is Jen coming to you live from Singapore. And uh, once again, you know, uh, welcome to uh, catching me live on my replay on um, this this uh, series that uh, Delphine and my and myself has been running the last uh, couple of weeks. So today I'm all alone because. Um, Delphi is having a holiday um, somewhere out of Singapore and unfortunately her Wi-Fi isn't very good uh, to join me live stream. So here I am, you know, uh, going live and doing my sharing uh, with all of you instead. So uh, once again, uh, welcome. And for those who are catching me for the first time, my name is Jen. I'm working mom to two teenage boys staying in Singapore and I'm also a digital business owner while working full time. Well, so um, today, you know, uh, let me share with you um, again, what is this about that we have been sharing uh, about this uh, No Crunch, No Guilt um, series. In this uh, November series, actually we are sharing about um, the struggles of a lot of stay-at-home parents. Yeah, so um, I, I know that you know a couple of uh, the last two weeks we have been talking about how stay-at-home parents face different type of struggles at home you know not just financially but uh, many other issues that we spoke about so um, today um, there are some other things that you know I just wanted to share based on a lot of um, um, interactions with some of my friends you know, um, and I think including with uh, a lot of uh, leads, uh, uh, other people that we spoke to about this online business, how they feel uh, as a stay-at-home parent. So, um, you know, there are, very often I hear this, like when they say that they work at home or rather they stay at home, um, they feel that there is really this lack of um so-called exposure or lack of connection you know um, with people outside the world because day in day out they are just staying at home uh, most of the time doing the work running the errands so um, it can be quite I would say um, I wouldn't say boring but it can be quite monotonous and uh, keeping to your own self unlike having to work right you'll get to interact with other people and sometimes it gets to a certain point where um, some of the people that I know who um, stay at home, they also tend to devalue themselves and they may think that, hey, I am very worthless. Uh, why do they think so? Probably uh, they may feel that they are not contributing and uh, contributing an income uh, to the family. And they feel that uh, a lot of work being done at the back end at home it's not being seen, right? Yeah, so these are you know, some of the very common things I'm sure um, if some of you are stay-at-home parents, you will definitely be able to uh, resonate with this. And I guess a lot of times, um, really being a stay-at-home parent is really no joke. Um, like, you know, you wake up in the morning, there's so many little things that you have to do. You have to do the house chore, you have to cook. You know, you have to plan activities. You got to probably, you know, go through the work with your children, and the cycle just carry on from the morning to the afternoon to the evening. And sometimes you really don't even have that time for yourself to care for yourself, uh, let alone talk about personal growth or professional growth. So I, I think this is a very real things that. Um, stay-at-home parents face and these are the, the, the common struggles that I hear right especially when you are staying at home be it with young children or with the elderly sometimes it can be quite isolating right because they are just faced with this group of people at home and and it is it is worse when um, some of the parents that I know they doesn't have a strong support network so because of this so-called isolation i'll call it very often it may lead to that feelings of feeling very lonely um, and the lack of adult social interaction right so this is really something common 
Yeah, and just now I think I spoke about the lack of time for oneself, right? A lot lack of personal time for oneself. And um like I said, with not enough time to have self-care or pursue personal interest, sometimes we may begin to feel that our life may have little purpose and you may wonder that hey i'm doing this day in day out and in compared to some of them may have um pretty good career last time right but they probably stay at home because of their children or whatsoever reason so there tends to be a comparison right then um that that feeling of um not being worthy may come in but of course we spoke about the financial stress about not being uh contributing directly you know with an income um and and many many of times and this may not be just for stay home parents i think for a lot of parents um it happens as well is this loss of identity right i'm not sure um those who are catching me uh watching this do you have that loss of identity sometimes as you become a mom or you embark on motherhood because sometimes um, you may feel that hey i am losing myself i no longer know what i like to do i no longer no longer know what i like to eat because everything is just surrounded and we prioritize everything for our children right so um this can uh make us feel that loss of identity or that loss of self-esteem right and to be honest it's especially even more difficult when a lot of uh, parents particularly women they trans they have this transition from uh, being a career woman to a stay-at-home mom yeah so and of course you know like i mentioned earlier at home day in day out you may be doing all the small little things but there's unlike in like the working society that are measurable achievements well yeah. but of course the type of achievement that we get from stay at home mom it's very different right but um this type of achievement can be less tangible yeah but definitely um for me i feel that's definitely more rewarding yeah so you know um these are really a lot of things uh common struggles that stay at home parents face you know and i think it's very real uh, particularly a lot of people that i talk to um i think the lack of confidence is something comes across uh very strongly other than uh, unable to bring in the income, the lack of confidence, um, the lack of personal time, um, the lack of personal growth, yeah, is something that I hear uh, pretty often. And and this is um, something that, you know, if you are catching me, my replay on my live, you know, drop in my comments and share with me, you know, if you are stay up at home parent, what else do you what, what other type of struggles do you face yeah so um so what's so really interesting is that um you know we are coming like uh, for delphi and myself we are working parents and for delphi for a period of time she was also a stay-at-home mom we we embark on this online business and um, we are on a journey on a mission to want to share with many people out there Right. Many people out there to share that there is a solution, regardless who you are, uh, what's our background, what's our parents, whether you are just a parent or your employee or whatsoever. But specifically in this case, I also want to really share that why um, starting this online business can be really be suitable are uh, very fulfilling for stay-at-home parents so firstly you know the um, i just want to share about the pros of this online business 
for stay-at-home parents because it's something that's very flexible. Right? The flexibility of this business actually allows uh, stay-at-home parents to, to work around your schedule, your kids' schedule, your family's schedule instead of the typical um, fixed hours. So, for example, some of them, like they have kids who go to school in the morning. So after sending their kids to the school in the morning, uh, during the morning time, uh, they've got that couple of hours um, to spare. So what they can do is at pockets of that free time, you know, they can catch up on the business, they can do their training, they can follow up on their queries, and there's a lot of things that you can work around on top of the responsibility of being a stay-at-home mom, right? So of course, this online business doesn't uh, basically you don't need to travel, right? It gives you the flexibility. So you you actually cut down a lot of traveling time. You don't have to waste time, and you can do it at the pockets of your free time. And you can do it while you're washing your clothes, you're cooking from a kitchen, from your bedroom. You know, so there's, there's so much flexibility that you can get. And I would say that um, because this is such a flexible and portable online business, um, for all those who sometimes bring their children to tuition enrichment classes, you know, I'm sure uh, many parents out there does that. That's what I used to do as well. And then we wait for them one, two hours uh, for the tuition classes. And then what do we do? Probably in the cafe, wait outside, wait somewhere, <laughs> screw our phone. Yeah, so actually during this time, we can leverage on this time. What do we do? We can work on our online business. Yeah. And of course, there is then the possibility of earning an income. And this is really something that I want to share because, um, of course, this is an online business. It doesn't um, happen, results don't happen overnight. But actually, with consistent efforts and then with the training that is given, uh, with the automation system that we provide, the backend infrastructure, uh, the personal mentorship that we have, you are never alone in this journey. So, as long as you put in effort, show up for your business every day, probably about one to two hours at pockets daily at pockets of your free time, you can actually you know, uh, contribute to uh, the family income and supplement some income. In fact, we have so many of our uh, business partners who are able to earn more than what they used to earn when they are working full time. So, of course, it always depends on how much effort you put in. Yeah. So, there are, there are so many other opportunities uh, working online as a stay at home parent. You know, with this business, you know, you also get to tap on the global market. And uh, what I really like to share is also what are the learning opportunities, um, the areas for personal growth and professional growth. Um, we've got very robust training opportunities on our website. I mean, there's a training site that is uh, video-based. So, um, you know, stay-at-home parents can just um, watch it at their pockets of their free time. Yeah. So, um, of course, like I said earlier, we have this very amazing global community. We've got your mentors. Uh, we've got your coaches. So, there is a group of people that we work closely with. We have support from each other. So you are never alone. So then it becomes like your network, your support group that we often call it, you know, your support group. That although you are your own um, business owner, you still get support from a lot of people. And I'm sure it's something that I would say a lot of businesses out there don't offer. I mean, honestly, there's so many advantages that I can share, you know, but it's just that this is truly, truly a very, very short time <laughs> that I probably can't share enough. So what I really like to, you know, encourage you to do is that it is something that you feel that, hey, um, I would like to explore. I'm a stay-at-home mom. Or you would like to be a stay-at-home mom. 
uh, and you'd like to make plans to do it, um, I urge you, you know, get in touch with me or get in touch with Delphine or simply just register for a complimentary uh, webinar. It's a 90 minute webinar where it has changed my life and transformed so many lives globally. So before I end, I just really want to share a very real um, two stories, a very short one. First of all, there's this, uh, I think this is a very typical story that I hear from uh, people who join me on the business. Uh, they are not stay-at-home mom now, but they would like to be stay-at-home mom when their kids go to kindergarten or to primary school and they start prepping. What do they do? As a full-time working mom, they start to prep themselves, you know, to give themselves a few years to work on this business. And by then, when their kids are already five years old, six years old, you know, kindergarten time, they are able to become a stay-at-home mom and be present for their child. So similarly, there are stay-at-home parents uh, who um, really want to be able to do something other than just being at home, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, caring for their children. You know, they just want to do a bit more and they just want to be able to do something that's more flexible and work around their schedule and able to earn a sustainable, pretty good income, right? Uh, with good support and good training, then this is probably something that you can explore. Yeah. And the last story that I wanted to share with you is that there are many parents out there, including uh, one of uh, my uh, potential business partner, is uh, she's pregnant. She's pregnant with a kid, a uh, second kid. And what she is doing is that she's exploring this business because she is planning that she wants to become a more present mom when her kid is, or rather when her baby grows up to be a little bit bigger. Or when the time she served her maternity leave, she wants to be able to stay home and take care of her child, of her baby. So this is very, very real story. And that is why she is checking out this business and um, she has watched the webinar and she's taken the next step. So if you are anyone like what I've described, you know, feel free to connect with me, always Delphine. Or like I said, simply connect and register for our complimentary webinar and I'll send you a personalized link and happy to uh, address any questions that you have. Yes. With that, I thank you so much for your time and uh, have a good week ahead and look forward to hearing from you. With that, have a wonderful week ahead and have a wonderful evening if you are watching me from Singapore at the same time. Bye.